Hi, hello everyone. Uh, in this chapter, we're going to learn about forms. How we can create uh, forms with different uh, components available in uh, HTML. Of course, whenever you create a form, you are trying to enter some fields in order to capture data from the user. Um, whenever you need to send this information to the server, you need to have server uh, technology like ASP.NET, um, uh, Java 4 EE, PHP, or whatever server-side technology. So, in HTML, you only learn uh, how to create the form in order to capture data. But how to process it, this is totally different from HTML, and you must learn uh, server-side uh, technology. Of course, during uh, the journey that uh, I promised you, that we are going to learn courses one by one in order to reach to Java 2 EE and how we can capture this information. But from HTML point of view, you need to learn only how to create the form. Now, this is the example that uh, we need to produce. We are going to learn different uh, components of HTML, like, like this is a text field. This is a, a text area uh, spanning uh, some rows. This is a combo box. This is a list box. This is, um, uh, as you see, this is a different style of uh, a combo box. All you have it divided into some options like this. You have a radio uh, button. As you can see, like it looks differently like this. And also, this is checkbox. This images we send and uh, click. Now, let us take a look for the source in order to understand how we can generate a file like this. Now, you start a form by mentioning tag for. Okay, this is enter your name, this is the normal text, this is normal text, nothing um, new here. But now I have an input, type equals text. Okay, so input, this means a text field so that you can type. Its type is text. Okay, so this is the first uh, component in order to capture data that you can enter only one line uh, at a time. But if, he, if I need to have something like address or whatever, I need some uh, space, some more space with multiple rows. So in this case, you use text area. You have some attributes. Calls is for columns. This is 40 columns. Rows equals 4. I have 4 rows. So if I say something like this, I can have four rows without scrolling. If you increase more like this, okay, as you can see, it moves to next line like this, and you have a scroll uh, bar in order to uh, navigate uh, up and down. And in modern browsers, you have this option in order to increase the uh, text area at runtime like this. Now I need to have a combo box. It's a list of options like this. So I use select tag. Select means a, a combo box. It's a list of items that I need to select from. Each option is written using option tag. So this is the option tag and this is uh, my option. Whenever you add an option tag, then you are adding another option available in the combo box like this. So I have four options here, so I have four options written here. Then of course you close the select tag and this is just two uh, lines so that I have some spacing between uh, one form and the other. Now interests. In combo box only one option is appearing. You must click in order to see more options. But if I need to make them uh, appear without clicking, then you use just an attribute 
named size size equals three this means I have three items uh, available without scroll so I can see really three items though you have more like I have if I scroll down I have some more okay but only three options are available without scrolling and whenever you mention multiple this means user can select multiple items I have two ways in order to select multiple items if they are consecutive then I can click first option then hold down the shift key then click the last option it is going to highlight from the start till end but if I need to, to only uh, check some items they are not consecutive then uh, I can hold down the control key then click the items that I need like this so this is how uh, we use a multiple option now in this combo box we have something like uh, two levels of selection like I need um, to select a course for example so I need to group it so Word and Excel are for end user for example a developer has Java and C Sharp Web Design has HTML front page flash and remover uh, note that you cannot select the group like I cannot select Web Design but I can select these items Java, C Sharp, Word, Excel but I cannot select developer in order to create this uh, effect then simply you mention an option group OPT group option group its label is end user okay so this is what they have this is the option group end user then its items are mentioned like this then I close my option group and I start a new option group label equals developer okay this is how it looks like and as you can see it appears like two level menu like this so these are the options inside the second option group and they can create as many of course as many uh, option groups that I need this is a third option group for design and these are the options uh, inside then finally you close your select so I have only uh, uh, change it and close my uh, combo box now in order to create uh, an appearance like this then you simply use something called field set um, in field in field set you group some fields and create them as a set or group so it has a title okay as you can see there is uh, some border surrounding the fields it has a title this title is mentioned using legend um, uh, legend tag so in legend this is like the title of the field set then I can use uh, text field uh, combo box whatever you need we are learning here how to use radio buttons like this so input type equals radio and it has a name equals gender and another radio button name it has take care it has the same name why in order to uh, use them as a group where you can only select one option so as you can see here that we have name equals gender name equals gender this means I can select only one choice from male and female and I have here another radio button I can only select one option from the city so in order to create groups with radio button you need to have distinct name so this is name equal gender this must be exactly the same name and the same applies here it is the same thing almost like I have three radio buttons like this they must have the same name so that I know it's a group and I can only select one uh, option from this group now we have some 
uh, attributes one attribute is checked as you can see whenever you open um, your uh, phone first time I have this option selected by default and this option is selected by default but still I can change it of course so in order to create this just go to the um, option that you need to make it select by default and add that attribute checked like this this is one thing You have also something called access key. Access key means what? Like um, there is something called like a shortcut. Like I can use a, a keyboard in order to check the item. Of course, um, you can have this uh, option, but it is different from one browser to another. Some browsers use Control with Alt um, along with the access key letter in order. To select it some browsers use alt some browsers use control whatever you need to check with the browser in order to know how you can use the access key so simply you use the letter M along with the combination of uh, the text in order to create and select the option that you need this is regarding the access key Okay, now we have discussed the radio button and now we can understand how we can create different sets uh, so that we can have only one selection at a time from different cells. Also regarding checkbox, like I use also field set with the legend in order to have the title like this. Now regarding the options, I have input type equals checkbox. So this is... Uh, how you have checkbox but of course in checkbox I can select as many items as I need but in radio button you can only have single selection but checkbox you can have multiple selections like this okay now we have a button this is a button in button I can uh, create as many items that uh, I need to be included inside the button so for example here I have a button well it has a text appearing like this then I have an image appearing like this so this is how I can use the uh, images in order to create uh, a button and still you can use text as well now you have input type equals submit with value equals send data okay what is this this is a button and this is the label send data is the value this is written here whenever you click send data this means I need to submit my data to the server and again I emphasize that you cannot use this button unless you have server side technology like as I mentioned Java 2 EE um, ASP.NET, PHP or whatever this is another course that you are going to learn later but from HTML point of view this is how you create it then you have another type called reset like for example I have um, let us say that I have typed some values like this I have done some selections I have changed and made some selections like this Whenever you click on clear data, it clears all information and return back to the default selection. So as you can see that I cleared everything and everything returned it to the default. So this is, uh, this, is this button is working, uh, no need for server side technology. It clears all selection and returns back to the default options. So this was a really quite a big example showing all uh, types of controls so you have learned about um, text uh, field uh, text area combo box list box um, option groups field set and uh, legend this is also the radio button check boxes images with buttons submit button and reset button so we have covered 
almost all controls in HTML. So it was a quite big uh, example containing a lot of details, but it is quite useful. And now you are able to design any kind of forms. Well, you are going to have one uh, exercise, like in order to make things look much more organized, you can use tables to create this. So you have an assignment. Now you have you know how to use tables. I need to have a table data for this information for the label of the field and another table data for the control that I'm going to use. In this case, you're going to produce much more organized output. This is an exercise and assignment for you. You can uh, uh, apply this so that you learn how you can combine images, tables, forms, and combine all the chapters that we have learned before. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, chapter. Uh, see you next chapter. Thank you.